What up, y'all? It's your homeboy Justin. We're back in my bathroom. One more again. Today, we're gonna talk about your diet. We're gonna talk about some hair health. We're gonna talk about working out. So let me backtrack real quick. Before we get into this video, a few days ago, I was with my friend Monica. We just got done working out at our own CrossFit gym. We we're going to meet some people um, some friends for breakfast and we we're just talking about working out and you know eating good food and whatnot and I was telling her how I was noticing that my hair was growing really fast my nails have also been growing really fast she was talking about how well yeah exercise does that and I was like what so I went on to um, the internet found some websites about hair diet and exercise and how that helps and promote growth um, in all those areas. I'm just gonna share with you all the stuff I found. It's pretty interesting. So let's talk about hair health. I'm gonna give you three things that'll hopefully give you the most out of your hair journey and promote, you know, healthy, shiny, full looking locks, all right? Keep watching. Okay, so just to give you guys some background before we jump into everything, hair is mostly made of keratin, just like your skin, nails, even your tooth enamel. And the keratin is the main component that gives your hair, um, skin and nails, the um, strength and elasticity that it has. And so with that being said, with keratin being the most like important component in your hair, you want to maximize um, the flexibility and strength of your hair by doing things whether that be exercise or eating foods that promote um, um, higher production levels of keratin in your hair and also give you an environment to maximize your hair health, whether that be shine, um, balancing the oil levels on your scalp, hair growth, and of course, moisture retention. So first, let's talk about increasing your keratin with exercise. So first off, when you're exercising, you're sweating. The sweat releases um, toxins and like waste substances through your pores and through your skin. And as you're sweating, it helps also to unclog the hair follicles, which in turn helps to promote healthy hair growth. Also, while you're working out, if you've noticed whenever people are done with the workout, people will usually say they look swole, right? And that's because the blood circulation through your body is amped up, so your muscles are going to be a lot more engorged. Um, your skin's gonna be flush, you're gonna look red, you're gonna look very healthy, right? But that also means you're gonna have higher blood circulation to your scalp as well. More blood flow means more oxygen, which means more nutrients to your scalp, which in turn means more hair growth. Also, moderate to high level cardio workouts are the best workouts that you should that you should do in order to promote healthy hair growth. Exercises such as brisk walking, running, yoga, Zumba, dancing, any type of like high intensity sport essentially. CrossFit, like what I do, that will help promote healthy hair growth. Specifically to yoga, if you do any type of poses that where your body is inverted or where your head is lower than your waist, meaning like if you're doing a headstand, um, a shoulder stack, um, downward dog, any type of poses like that, that will also bring the blood to your head and your scalp and will, you know, bring more hair growth. <laughs> so that's exercise concern. I would say me personally, I definitely didn't notice that my hair was growing in terms of me exercising more this year. I did start CrossFit in January, so I've been doing it for about um, 11 months now, almost 12 months. But I never put together that exercising more would also be beneficial to like my hair, skin, and nails. So that's just a good tip if you're not active maybe doing one of these things maybe running or walking more often would be something that can that you can put into your routine that's a little bit easier and then start to build it up maybe join a gym or a crossfit box or do some yoga or some zumba get outside do some you know activity some some physical activity and you will see the results i would say the results for me, I guess I didn't notice maybe about six to 12 months after I started. So start now, but you will see the effects later, okay? It's not a night and day thing. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is your hair, okay? Now, now let's get to talking about increasing the keratin um, by diet. Let's talk about the foods you need to eat, okay? Again, keratin's made of protein, so obviously eat a protein rich diet okay protein also has the amino acids that you're used to produce keratin so opt for i got my little thing i got my notes <laughs> so you want to opt for lean meats fish greek yogurt i would actually recommend oikos because it has 15 grams of protein per serving i mean i'm trying to bulk anyway so that's what i use um and low fat dairy i don't eat much dairy though so anyway and then also you want to try iron rich foods 
Um, iron helps the red blood cells bring oxygen to the hair follicles. Again, bringing nutrients to your hair follicles and stimulating that growth so your hair grows faster, okay, and healthier. So for iron-rich foods, you want to eat turkey, duck, quack, quack, uh, chicken, pork, shrimp, eggs, lean beef, and lamb. Those are your animal sources. Um, in terms of protein, like, or in terms of veggie sources, you want to do beans, like red beans and rice, egg, black eyed peas, soybeans, tofu, and lentils. If you're into that, go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay, now in terms of vitamin C rich foods, you also want to consume those as well. This enhances the absorption of your vegetarian based iron foods. So you want to eat these at the same time, like in conjunction with those foods, those veggie foods for iron. So anything like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, peppers, guava, papaya, grapefruit, oranges, pineapple, you see we're getting into citruses as well, strawberries, and lemons. Eat those with the iron rich veggies, okay? Also to increase your consumption of B vitamins, so B6 and B12 vitamins. Um, this enhances the red blood cell development, which again carries nutrients to your scalp and your follicles, again increasing your hair growth. You know when they say let's do all of the things, you want to eat all of the things for your hair, okay? So B vitamin food or B vitamin rich foods, salmon, which is really good, trout, shell, bleh, shellfish, shellfish, I can't talk today. Um, white potatoes, bananas, lentils, chickpeas. So for people who like to eat hummus, that's actually a really good source of B12 and B6 vitamins, okay? Whole grains, obviously whole grains, lean beef, chicken, pork, um, and then folic acid rich foods or folate foods. You want oatmeal, again, whole grains, spinach, beets. Uh, I don't eat beets, but you wanna get those. Parsnips, broccoli, okra, black eyed peas, soybeans. So again, eat all of those foods. Try them out if you haven't tried them. Or if you already eat them, continue to because it's good for your diet. Another food that's good for hair growth is zinc rich foods. So for those food that provides hair growth, it maintains the oil glands near your hair follicles. So for zinc rich foods, you wanna eat, let's see. I can't read what this is. Oh, you wanna try oysters. Crab, pork, turkey, veal, chicken, peanut butter, wheat germ, and chickpeas. Again, the hummus thing, you wanna try that too as well. Um, this is something that I also didn't necessarily realize would be affecting my hair as much as it has. Um, if you check out my last um, hair length check, I noticed that the growth between my three year mark, or my two year, nine month mark to three years was about three, was about 0.3 inches of hair growth. And then the next time I did it in my last video, it was almost a full inch of hair growth. And that would be about the six month to nine month mark that I started working out and eating healthier. So again, it's just a testament how diet and exercise really affect how your body functions and how you're able to you know, grow your hair longer. So definitely take this to heart. Um, Cause it's been working for me. So maybe it would work for you too. Now again, if you're not already putting those things into your diet or if you're in a position where you can't afford to necessarily buy those things or buy fresh produce that has all of these types of um, vitamins and nutrients that you want to have in order to do hair production, what I would recommend is a quick one-stop shop for this, multivitamins. I also take multivitamins um, every day as prescribed by this bottle. Um, what you want to do is find a vitamin that has all the things that you need. Most of the multivitamins have everything. This particular one, in terms of vitamins that help with hair growth, this one has the vitamin B6, it has folic acid, it has vitamin B12, it doesn't have iron, it doesn't have zinc, however, but with the other foods that I eat in my diet already, that, you know, supplements where this doesn't have it. The very last thing I will talk about is just topical items as well. If you don't want to necessarily exercise, because you're on the hashtag lazy, you know, team, or if you don't want to change your diet immediately, or if you don't even want to try doing the vitamins, what you could do for your hair is just doing a keratin shampoos and conditioners or keratin, or keratin rich products. Now again, for your locks, you don't want to use anything that's too thick or creamy because it'll stay in your hair and make buildup. But what you can do and what I do sometimes is I will use a keratin infused 
shampoo and conditioner when I wash my hair. And what that does is supplement the lack of keratin I have in my hair. But because of my diet and my exercise, I don't use it. I guess I won't use it often. I mean, I can still use it because it, you know, stimulates hair growth, but I don't really necessarily need to use it because I'm getting keratin from other areas within my daily life already. Just to recap, again, you want to eat things that are good for your hair. Protein rich, iron rich, zinc rich, B12 and B6 vitamin rich, folic acid rich, okay? If not those foods, multivitamins that have those things, you know, is a good plan B. Also exercise, you wanna do medium to high intensity cardio workouts. So running, dance, yoga even. People think that yoga is like really chill and relaxing. It is, but that does not mean it is not a workout, okay? I will let you know I do yoga about twice a week now and it is still kicking my butt every time I go in because the poses and the stretching and holding everything is definitely a, a, a thing. And even if you can't do the exercises, try some type of topical shampoo and conditioner that has keratin in it, okay? So hopefully all this stuff will help you out. I just, I just read all this stuff like I think yesterday and the day before and I was just like, wow, like I ended, this is, this is one of the cool things that I think is about life is that sometimes you will do things that you, that you're only wanting to do for like one reason, but it has like a domino effect of good benefits in other areas. Like for CrossFit, the only reason I joined CrossFit is because I want to look better. So I want to gain muscle, I want to look um, more built. I did that, but in another effect of doing CrossFit or just working out, you get stronger, which is great. And then you start getting healthier. And then I want to change my diet too, to really put myself in alignment with my goals of trying to get more fit and to be a healthier person just in general. So then I changed my diet and I started eating more things and I started looking up different types of diets like ketogenic diets where it's mostly shellfish and it's very strict, it's very limited, but I tried that for a little bit. I kind of do a pseudo ketogenic diet because I still eat trash and fast food, whatever. Not like actual trash, you know what I mean? Like I'll just eat trash food every now and then, but then I'll still like have like my strict meals and stuff of all those things but those meals and those foods that i was eating already happen to have all of the nutrients that are good for like extreme hair growth so it's cool how that one thing has affected my life positively in so many more areas than just trying to look good <laughs> so that's my little that's my little story about that but yeah i mean essentially that's how crossfit fixed my hair so, yay CrossFit. That's all I have to say about that. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope you found the information in here useful. I know it was a lot. I know it was a lot of jibber jabbering, but this is definitely stuff that will help you in the long run. I want for you guys to want to be healthier in terms of what you eat or exercise or anything, but more than just wanting your hair to look good, doing these things will affect your body and your life in more ways than one and definitely in a positive way. If you have any questions or other comments about dieting and exercise and hair health, um, let me know in the comment section down there. And if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, you know, click the button if you want to. If you're already subscribed, thank you for joining me again on another video. And if you haven't already, follow me on other types of social media, all links are in the description box. And that's it. <laughs> well, thank you again for joining me on this um on this video today and i'll see you guys next week also next week is christmas um enjoy it have fun i will try and shoot a video again this week and upload it next monday but i don't know i'll be in new orleans next week so <laughs> anybody in baton rouge holla at me all right i will see y'all when i see y'all and deuces okay so i don't know what last week's video was but it's gonna be right here something here's another video there there's a playlist up there and if you haven't subscribed already click on that subscribe icon okay well i will see y'all when i see y'all <laughs> until next week <laughs>